Hi guys, my name is Dr. April Spencer, board certified surgeon and founder of Dr. Spencer's Global Breast Health and Wellness Center. Now, many of you all may have heard about this new study that was released by the American Cancer Society with some startling statistics about the state of breast cancer. Now, sure, we've made some significant strides. The mortality rate is down about 44% since 1989 and screening rates are up but disparity still exists and this study highlighted that. So what the study showed is that there has been a startling increase in the rate of breast cancer cases over the last decade, specifically from 2012 to 2021. Now, what was even more unsettling is that we saw the highest rate of new breast cancer cases in young women in their 20s, 30s, 40s, women under 50, we saw an increase in breast cancer rates of about 1.4% year over year for the last decade. Now, one um, of the things that stood out uh, to me in this report is that Asian Americans and specific Islanders had a doubling of their rate of breast cancer. And this group is usually, uh, historically has been a demographic that had one of the lower rates of breast cancer. So we've got to really figure this out together in terms of what's driving this. Uh, we don't have all the answers, but some preliminary thoughts are it can be definitely related to environmental factors like air, food, and water quality. Also sedentary lifestyle and an increasing rate of obesity. Now, what can we do about this lady? What is going to be important is three things. Number one, be aware of your anatomy. Know what's going on with your breast. If you feel a new lump in your breast, make sure you let it, your doctor know right away. And not just a lump. If you see something that is different in your body or on your breast, it's important that you share that with your healthcare provider. Things like nipple discharge, a new rash, or subtle changes to the size or shape of your breast can be a very serious sign of breast cancer. The second thing is make sure you get your screening mammograms. The screening um, uh, mammogram recommendation is starting at age 40, but unfortunately, a lot of young women are not even at the screening age in which they are diagnosed with breast cancer. So it's essential that you talk to your healthcare provider about your individual risks, particularly your family history or any new breast concerns because you may need to get screened sooner. Bottom line is early detection means better protection. And very lastly, ladies, is going to be absolutely critical that you are mindful of your um, behavior in terms of making sure you are exercising more. If you smoke, make sure you quit. Make sure you get plenty of rest and de-stress. So I hope this was helpful. I want you to continue to go with us on this journey from our breast health to our best health and let's be empowered and inspired not afraid of the study, but we're actually going to raise awareness, but we're going to raise our action. So until next time, you take care and you be well. This is Dr. Spencer, and I'm signing off.